Welcome to our online. And now for one of the JE advanced questions, which is not quite as hard as the ones that we have just done. All right, this one deals with charges or charged particles moving through magnetic field. Now, the problem reads as follows. An alpha particle with a mass of 4 AMU and a singly charged sulfur ion with a mass of 32 AMU are initially at rest. They are accelerated through a potential difference V and then allowed to pass into a region of uniform magnetic field which is normal to the velocities of the two particles. Within this region, the alpha particle and the sulfur ion move in circular orbits of radii Ra and Rs respectively and they want us to find the ratio of those two radii. So when you think of a particle moving through a magnetic field, so let's say we have a magnetic field like this, and a charged particle moves through there. So let's say we have a, uh, a particle moving in this direction and um, the field is this way. So we have a force going in that direction. So if we have a positive particle, let me use a red color here, a positive particle like this. Uh, let's see, the velocity this way, the B field this way, the force is this way. The particle will go through a circular path like this with a certain radius R. And we can find that by using the following logic, that the centripetal force to move it into a circular path is equal to QVB, and the centripetal force would be MV squared over R equals QVB. Notice that this V cancels out that V, and solving for R, moving it over here, then we have uh, R is equal to MV divided by Q times B. So that's how we find the radius of a charged particle moving through a magnetic field. If we now want to find the ratio of the radius of the sulfur particle divided by the radius of the alpha particle, well, that would be equal to the mass of the sulfur particle, which is 32 in relative units. Uh, the velocity, that would be V of the sulfur, we don't know yet what that is, divided by the charge of the sulfur particle, which is one charge because it's, it's singly ionized, and the uh, magnetic field is B, that would be the same for both, divided by, here we have the mass of the alpha particle, which is 4, times the velocity of the alpha particle, divided by um, 2, which is the charge of the alpha particle, divided by the magnetic field. Notice the magnetic field is the same for both. Here we have 32 divided by 2, which is 16, so we get 16 times the velocity of the sulfur divided by the velocity of the alpha particle. So that is the ratio of the radius of the sulfur particle divided by the radius of the alpha particle. All right, the only thing left to do is find their relative velocities because we need to find the ratio. So how do we find the velocity? Well, we have, um, we have charged particles being accelerated from the positive side to the negative side of, let's say, a capacitor, where the potential difference is the difference in the voltage between the two plates. And of course, we're going to have an electric field. Let's draw a little electric field on there. So we have the electric field from left to right, and so that's why the particles feel a force, and that force will be equal to the electric field strength times Q. All right, so as the particle moves across, the work done to move across will equal the kinetic energy gained by the particle. So the work done will be equal to force times distance. Now the force is going to be EQ times D, and E times D is the voltage, so that's Q times the voltage. And that has to equal the kinetic energy, and the kinetic energy is going to be 1 half MV squared. So in other words, we can set the one-half mv squared equals to the q times v. And that means that v is equal to the square root of 2qv divided by the mass. Now notice that each of the particles will have a different q and a different m. So we can then say that the velocity of the sulfur is going to be equal to the square root of 2 times q, which is 1 times V divided by the mass, which is 32. And the velocity of the alpha particle is going to be the square root of 2 times Q, which is 2, times V divided by the mass, which is 4. 
All right, so in this case, we end up with um, simply the square root of the voltage. And over here, 2 divided by 32, we end up with uh, the voltage divided by 16, and we take the square root of that. And now we're ready to plug that into the equation for the ratio. So this is equal to 16 times the square root of V over 16 divided by the square root of V. And of course, the square root of V is cancel out. And 1 over the square root of 16 is 4, so we end up at 16 divided by 4, which is equal to 4. And that's the number we're looking for, the ratio between the radius of the sulfur ion to the radius of the alpha particle is 4. And that is how it's done. So of course, you probably wouldn't want to spend all the time drawing the pretty little diagrams. You simply have to realize that, first of all, to find the radius of a uh, the circular pad of a charged particle in a magnetic field is that the centripetal force equals QVB, solve for R. Then you realize that you plug in the numbers, you can find the ratio of the two R's by plugging the numbers in those being 16 divided by the ratio of their velocities. Then you realize to find the velocity, you have to calculate the work done to move a charge from here to there across the potential difference which is Q times V, and that equals the kinetic energy, you want to have mv squared. Solve that for the velocities, put that ratio in here, and you get the right answer. So that can be done within three minutes. You have to be pretty fast, but it could be done, and that's how you do it.